Hello there, my fellow lovers of Diana. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, and welcome back to Old World Blues, in which we need to talk about the power of the atom, or really the matter of Zax-29. Zax-29 is our link to the Twin Brothers tribe itself, though through it we are able to link up and establish influence over the tribe. Leading it from afar, for a long while we've merely been controlling Zax-29 from afar, sending them instructions on how to best lead the tribe. However, we now we are approaching the point where we have to question how necessary he is to our rulership. We could try to remove the Zack's personality so that's easier to c communicate with the tribe, or we could try to further its personality so that it is a more efficient steward for the tribe, which it does say, let's let them rule, versus uh, it's time we take control. So I asked you guys yesterday whether we should give him more autonomy, or we should reduce autonomy, and overall, at the time of this recording, there is more support for... Reduced autonomy. We cannot forever let a third party be a relay to the Twin Mothers tribe. It is inefficient and comp complicates matters beyond what is acceptable. We'll further restrain Zack 29's capabilities and instead. Assigned to more simple matters. I'm assuming drug control. Zack 29's pre war mainframe is an impressive display of engineering, but it can be used much more efficiently. The most reasonable course of action is now to fully wipe out Zack 29 as outlived its usefulness and transfer the competing power to, of course, to Diana. In which right now we are currently doing the power of the atom. I think I read this one yesterday, but I can't remember. Let's read it anyways. A simple solution would be bring back online the integrated nuclear generators inside of the factory, but to do so would be problematic, to say the least. Should we really try to harness once again what brought humanity's end so many years ago? The benefits are enormous, but it will take considerable efforts, and the Twin Brothers trial would surely disapprove. Pretty much. We got a lot of political power, but... <sighs> simulation. Simulation. 800-some uh, refugees. That's totally, totally fine. And... Ooh, look at all the stuff we can do here. Of course, now we are in a faction with Nova Legion, Ooh, which is not good for us in the end. But we'll see what happens, my friends. We will see what happens. Let's get some more robot technology because we can. Close out of drastic measures because it's not really worth it. And do we have anything here that's worth it? Honestly? Not really, but I'd rather not see it. So, oh well, it is what it is. And what are we building up currently? Some factories, which is nice. Now, we're not going to ever, ever have enough divisions, but we'll see what happens. But the power of the atom. A little more computational power would be very good. Uh, Vault City. Let's see. Execute system wide Rui boots. Ooh. Decrypt, uh, decrypt circuit boards. Robot refugees. Oh. Robot town. That's your case. Stories of families. Oh, that's pretty cool. But uh, the next one we want to do. Which one do we want to do? The com command station. Uh, more stability would be pretty good. Brahmin DNA. Rumble in the jungle. I like that one. That sounds like a lot of fun. Scam just found something. Watts consumer electronics schematics. Nice. Well, harnessing power. Oh, it would be bad. We need to do a lot of stuff here. But rumble in the jungle. Let our corrupted Gek has massively upset the ecological balance of the nursery. If we're to restore order, we must make a choice and need to do it fast. Shall we preserve the legacy of the old world or take on the opportunity that Reese has given us? Well, we'll see. Anything we can do here? No? Alright, that's fine with us. Oh. Uh, refugees, eSport, very nice. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Now over here, we do have our army here. And we do have to decide what we're going to do with the faction of the military. And you know what, at this point, backyard workshop's not bad. If you want to buy this, please go ahead. Unreasonable demands, whatever. I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should do automated warfare or conventional warfare. And there's quite a bit of support for both sides. But overall, at the time of this recording, there is a little bit more support for... Robotic or automated warfare. Now, someone recommended we go down refined warfare. I mean, I, I love... Actually, I really like this one. This is not bad. Infantry is not bad, too. Uh, infantry. It's all for infantry. And army breakthrough is not bad, too. And flexibility command. Army recovery rate is not bad. And we'd probably go with principal. Eh, that's not bad, either. You know, I kind of like this one, too. Yeah, that's... Infantry. Well, the robots. We're just going to go with the robots, because that's what you guys recommended overall. While it's not a democracy, I do take in uh, an account for all y'all's... Uh, input so that'll be good and here we go automated warfare very nice followed up with good old ooh, memory management rumble in the jungle want a little bit of memory management as well as diana's computation power has increased she's been able to rearrange and organize her memory more efficiently as time goes on how recently something strange has happened. It seems like hidden or corrupt recordings or records keep appearing as she digs deeper. With time and care, she might just be able to yet to recover her history. Rumble in the jungle, the corrupted Gek has massively upset the ecological balance of the nursery. If we're to restore order, we must make a choice, then do it fast. Shall we preserve the legacy of the old world or take on the opportunity that Reese has given us? Imbalance. The nursery's gardens have been suffering an amount of ecological imbalance ever since Miles Reese charmed his way into the nursery. 
only to see Ogek from us and wreak havoc across the wasteland. As of late, botanical creatures and the other monstrosities from Reese's Gek threatened to upend the gardens from pre-war wildlife living here. We have a choice to make on if we want to try to tame the plants living here or give the native creatures a helping hand so they might bring back the intended order of the place. Now, I did ask you guys in the last video to redo old world wildlife versus the new world fauna. And overall, the challenge is there is more support for new world fauna. So. Adapting to the new world and potential wasteland was always the prime directive of the nursery since its ideas were first dreamt up. We'll move old world fauna into more appropriate contained areas. Then direct our focus towards studying this wildlife the corrupted Gek has created. Victims? Dione Muscipula. Strength of spores. I kind of want to try that one out, but at the time, like, right now, actually, I read this one earlier, so if you want to read this again, please go right ahead. But, like, I do want to get, um,. Uh, more c computational power, but the command station. At the heart of the nursery, the command station lies, a state-of-the-art mainframe manned by advanced robo-brains. It processes billions of lines of information and strategical intelligence in its mainframe. Bringing it back online and properly integrating into, into the command will considerably help our future endeavors. Or future efforts. So. Also, like, at this point, we're already just flying on the, on another nation, so we'll see what happens. Just because I want to get a little bit of conflict in. I do want to get a little more army XP before we do anything else, so... Obviously, that might not be really good for us, but, you know, it is what it is. Equity's army, Black Canyon Raiders, there we go. Military hardware, my dominion. One eventually we'll get it done anyways, Realm of Opportunity. Nevada's under faction, Sapphire's the West, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. So, um, we're taking exploration decisions on La Garita, Circle Junction, because I do want to go to war these guys. Is this La Garita? Oh, it's right there, so, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm just infantry we're using right now, just because I did say earlier we're going to be using military you know, robots, um, but I have a lot of them already. And I did try to make sure that we get at least one on motorized for now. Actually, what do we not? Oh, we need vehicles. Uh, vehicles. Well, that's not a vehicle. Hold on. Uh, we're going to get some scrap. Yeah, we're going to need some. Mm, we're going to need some vehicles. We're definitely going to need some vehicles. So, actually, do we have anti tank? 33 is not bad. Yeah, definitely just give these guys some anti tank as well. Thank you. Not bad. Don't want to call anyone else in. And I'll go to send you guys south so that you guys uh, start to get to attack a little bit. Nah. We're, we're okay. We'll be fine by ourselves. We'll literally be fine. Cool. So after that one, computational uh, memory management. Ooh, can you hold out by yourselves? Rebuilding the way. So, of course, we do have peace and love, which hurts our defense, but with enough divisions here, we should do okay ish. So, we'll see. New casings, computation power. I don't get that extra research slot as well, though. And they found something better in our hands than the enemies. Lockery's schematics, very nice. More war would be good. Um, the Brahmin DNA. The hardy Brahmin, which from analysis seems to be a post war descendant of the Brahmin cattle breed that would help in our early efforts for human experimentation. Well, we won't go far as far as integrating its eight compartment stomach into our population. We can make. Do with its less need for less need for water and improved digestion. But would you like to come over here as well? You need to bait him into attacking us. I want army XP. That's literally why we're doing this. So, and vehicles. Don't want to forget about vehicles. Here goes well. Only one tile away. Good luck. Good luck. We got plenty of political power. Um, we are at war. Actually, that's not bad to get some more war spell right now, too. Uh, sure, why not? We got enough political power that we might as well. Don't want to lower our stability. Alright, don't get me wrong. I like the federal output. Federal output? Output, but still. No, I don't think we got many prospects. Cool. The economy, um, not really anything special there, so. Let these guys struggle. Let them struggle. That's fine if they struggle. Brahmin DNA. Because we can. And computational power right now is where? The nursery. It's only 49%, which is actually not bad. That's actually not too bad at all. We need Gecko DNA. Um, power of the Wind. New casings. Radio is very nice as well. Let's go. Ooh, ooh. We need intermediate vehicle tech. Hmm. Uh, someone did recommend we did get pla implants. So we'll get there eventually. Where's intermediate? Ah, sweet. Oh, 
We need to refine tools, conventional warfare doctrine. Oh. Uh, technology, mechanized forces. So we need to refine tools next. I will talk about it a little later. Golden light, encryption. Arms workshops would be pretty nice, actually. Three more? I could actually really, really use that. Golden light. The complicated process by which Diana's brain was extracted and wired to the nursery takes its origin from the Vault 29's data banks concerning the mysterious code procedure, applied to much more radical extent to construct robo brains. Some of its programming could further give us insight into this mysterious program, as well as extend our encryption capabilities pertaining to pre-war protocols. Yeah, technically, let's just go and grab that one done. That's fine. No, yeah, we're good. Actually, how many um, things do we have here? Well, that's good. Fire teams? I do want some fire teams. Dynamite? Yeah, make sure there's some dynamite on here, too. I mean, it's not... Honestly, dynamite does not do very much at all. Seven and a half. More soft attack. That's it. That's not a lot. Not gonna lie. And I still don't want to increase the stripping level, because we were building up civvies quite quite nicely, actually. Honestly, around here. So, keep making more civvies for now. Dynamite. Toss runes. Ooh. Molar DNA would be very nice, but let's grab the flash card production. Deep within the vaults, many flash card manufacturing lines have been found silent and rendered useless by the opening of its door many decades ago. Reactivating and repurposing them, will, as well as the resources into arms factories, would take considerable efforts, but would provide a much much better use for them. Very nice. Automated warfare is good. And organization. Obviously, using infantry is not a smart idea, but whatever. Um, any more manpower, of course. Over here. I do, I do like that one for better, just how war goes time. Max entrenchment, better division defense on core territory. Not bad. Um, vehicles, we can't do that quite yet. Better dynamite. Ooh. Flamethrowers, incinerators, grenade machine guns. Incinerators. I'm, gonna, I'm feeling the flamethrower maybe right now. I want to burn things. Actually, we still need someone here too. What the heck? There you go. You know that too. Why not? Let them just keep attacking us. It's fine. They found something. Hey, more encryption, decryption. Very nice. Golden light. Flash car production. We get five more scrap. Nice. Um, connecting the tribe. Not a bad idea. And let's grab what? Fire Ant DNA? <clears throat> the Fire Ant's DNA, or genetic sequence, and its potential application mostly pertain to its intrinsic understanding of its fellow ants, as well as organization, organization and group. And while it would be horrifying to try and integrate a hive like mentality, we can still spice more common traits like intrinsic body language, understanding, and fer pheromone dispersion. That's fine. Oh, are we actually losing here? Hope not. And they don't want to go up there, whatever. It's fine. Scrap shacks. Nice. I mean, as much as I do want to kill them off, draining them of their manpower would be a good thing to do as well. Any prospectors? Thank you. Anything over here? Mm, not really. No, no, no. Oh, well. And now they go there too. So maybe going to war a little bit earlier was maybe a bad idea. Actually, if anything, it was probably a very bad idea. Um... Hmm. This is probably a really bad idea. Actually, can we be left alone? No, I think they're still fighting us. Yeah, that might have been my bad. Actually, where are your divisions, Lanius? Do the best you can right there. There you go. I don't like that you, you don't get told when people go to war with each other, though. I don't think that's very fair. I don't think that's very good. I'm kind of surprised that that still hasn't been updated since uh, the early days. So, eh, something I really don't like about that. Nope, see, if we can hold out, great. If we can't, you know, then we'll, I'll make sure we would actually don't go to war with these guys, so. Question? Sure, why not? As long as we hold out there, three divisions will be fine. Yeah, us, like, not getting any sort of warning about this is incredibly unfair. That makes no sense. Yeah, okay. okay. So, you can get pierced immediately. So, that's not good. Oh, you guys are there too. That's good. Hold out as best you can. 
as best as possible. Well, this is not well, good. Well, everyone, here we're at. Um, so I'll be honest with you guys. This is impossible to do with the current setup that we do have. Um, you know, I want to do well and do ro use robots like you guys suggested, but yeah, it, it, you can't do it. You can't do it. And I tried this um, off screen, and even like when you sometimes when you capitulate as Diana, you can get paradise. But for us, that wasn't possible. So I did capitulate and try that one off screen, but we didn't get paradise, so we just lose basically. So unfortunately, I'd use cons commands and deleted like a lot of uh, enemies' armies, and apparently Ur of Burl sent to war with them as well. So that kind of helped us out as well. So right now, this is kind of where we're at. Um, it's not very fair doing it like that, but at the same time, landing su kind of sucks. But then again, he's led by the AI, so it is what it is. I mean, they still have a ton of divisions, but like us, yeah, we're not destined to win at all. Like, I can see why now the AI always dies when they go down and do this route, so honestly, that really sucks. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but you know, it makes sense, I suppose, because the Legion is very, very strong. Very, very strong, you know, as they should be. So, as they should be. But still, I would have liked if they were, you know, a little tougher. Honestly, a little tougher. But, uh, oh, I guess we do another two. Go to But other than that, we've done quite a few focuses off screen. Not much really else, except just kind of holding here. So, let's talk about all these. Depending on the command station. With recent advances to our sc scout robots' fuel systems, we can now use them to clear the rubble that sadly fell around Paradise when the Great War began. Recovering mainframes and the use of research containing them would be most beneficial. Uh, we'll go this one too. Dionea Muscopola. Muscopo most commonly known as the Venus flytrap, the spore plant is a result of rhesus insanity and mutated into a hyper-aggressive as well as gigantic state. Their genetic sequence is interesting as it shows heightened levels of poison radiation resistance. This could certainly be useful for agricultural research. Um, but support robots, robot subroutines. The Mr. Handy model of the robot contains much knowledge in its databanks, mostly pertaining to cooking and housekeeping, but also to m more efficient use of material owning to its military construction heritage. Making use of this wisdom while running computational subroutines will help our cause, new casings. Every few decades, I have to swap out my containment vessels as the preservation gel tends to grow crusted and the glass gets far too uncomfortable. It's about time for a swap. This time I'll have a robot handle instead of that prisoner who helped me last time. Continued connection. The Twin Mothers tribe is a very important ally of ours, which also sometimes needs our help. Sally, as of now, it's difficult to communicate properly with them as well as supply them. As such, our main frame shall develop new ways for us to airlift supplies and keep in contact with them. Twin Mothers Relay Dish. Ensuring continued communication with the Twin Mothers is key to the stability of the region beyond the nursery. Constructing a communications relay and its necessary infrastructure will both improve the instability of the region as well as extend our scanning capabilities. Which isn't bad. Oh, look, the divisions came back. That's not good. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Our boss was doing pretty darn well. Honestly, at this point, like. We're, we're gonna have to use cons commands to win, so I, I, I don't care anymore. I'll be honest, I really do not care. Just because it's kind of unfair. It makes sense why, why it is unfair, but it's kind of unfair. I'll hold out as best we can, but as we're reading more stuff here, uh, unreasonable man. It's just not very fair. And there's no way you can win this. I, I mean, I, there's literally no way, so. Other than that, victims of the Gek. Poor human presents. Uh, present when the corrupted Gek was unleashed have been twisted into horrendous abominations, half human and half plant. We must take care of the least affected and contain all that we can. Studying the changes induced in their like physiology could potentially produce a cure and help advance our medical studies considerably. Which would be great. Yeah, it's not looking so good now, is it? No, it's not. And it's not like we can produce that much anyway, so... Yeah, this route, not very smart to do. Uh, the Repository Industrial Hillside Reforesting Network. The IHRN procedure is a general mass seeding program which we could reactivate using our study of waste and floor to calibrate to the change conditions intended for use in the center of a nuclear blast. To quickly terraform the center of the blast, it makes heavy use of efficient power generation to its full operations, which we could recuperate after use for our own purposes. Secrecy training, very nice. Uh, we could do scouts, but we'll see. Yeah, might as well do it, why not? Don't worry about that. If you guys get attacked, just don't lose. That's the biggest thing. Just try not to lose. And Master Relay Grassland Extender. Our existing agricultural research could allow us to reactivate the MRGE subroutine of the creation kit. Its intended use was to supplement existing food production facilities with grassland prioritization during terraforming procedures. If we are lucky, it will activate and make the region more efficient in its food use, while increasing water reserve as a byproduct. Wind power of the wind. The further study into wind-based power operations could not only give a natural alternative to the, to the many industrial generators barely keeping the factory on, but would also make it much easier to design aerial designs from multiple aerodynamic studies. Shall we try to harness the power of the wind? Eh, maybe, we'll see. Oh, look at that! That's really not good, which means I'm going to do some funky stuff off-screen. <sighs> this is really annoying. Like, this is a route I would never recommend, actually. So, ah, uh, but let's keep reading some of these. Power of the Atom? Did I read this one before? Hmm, I might have. So if you're, if you're going to read this again, please go ahead. But Power of the Earth. 
Geothermal energy, tidal waves, and underground generators. Energy is already there, just waiting to be harnessed. But first and foremost, we must study new ways to properly build that infrastructure without disturbing the ambient environment. Once done, the elements of the earth itself shall power the factory, rising waters. The power of steam might be the answer to our problem by harnessing the tides of the Rio Grande River. And by using steam generators placed alongside the coast, we could further power the factory while still having only minimal disruptions in the local fauna and strength of the spores. With the decoding of both the wasteland floor and the corrupted strands originating from the gap, we have managed to fully sequence the mutation in the ladders inflicted upon biological elements. We could use this to our advantage and expose plants in a controlled environment for military use, providing support in marshes or jungles where they would thrive. Well, everyone, it's about August 7th, 2280, and we just finished the war, gave most of the territory to Lannis because, well, that's what our focus kind of calls for. So, unfortunately, I, like I said before, like, I apologize for having these kind of cons commands, but, like, I've been doing this for an hour, and at the time of the screen, I just don't have time. I don't have time for something like this that's not really... Uh, uh, really, just not, not there yet. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's here. I, I'm just, I don't know. It just this didn't even make. We can't do it. Basically, we can't do it like how oh, we've done it. So, we're gonna continue with the campaign no matter what. Do the best we possibly can. So, and if anything's been really glitchy, well, that's not good. But oh well. Arizona Gala or Gaia, fruits of knowledge, Tabula Rosa. Well, we can do this stuff eventually. From the guys, I want to see what this one does. To all that hear me, cherish my voice, for you have heard the call of your salvation for centuries. You have lived in squalor and filth, adopted backwards practices that are the antithesis of a civilized life. I'll bring the torch of knowledge and liberty to each and every one of you, as you all deserve better than your current affliction. You may not realize it yet, but I'm releasing you from a doomed cyclical existence, and in time you'll thank me for it. So, like once again, I do apologize for that. Just it it's, it sucks. It really sucks when you just you can't do anything that you're supposed to do. I don't know. Just the meta always seems like it's never quite right in Old World Blues too. It's like you guys wanted robots, and I'm totally okay with that. Some of you guys did. Um, but, like, it doesn't work all the time. I don't know. World of Blues is in a very weird s spot right now. Very, very weird. But, after Realm of Goddess, eh, Arizona G Gaia? I mean, we don't need any more political power. We can give it political power to him. He could, honestly, he could probably use it. We've done it. Kaisar is defeated. It'll take Lanny some time to fully integrate the territories of Arizona. Perhaps I should assist him, send over my best priestesses, so that they may offer wisdom and guidance for the many settlements on, now under Lanny's control. Which, you know, honestly, he's probably going to need. Wow, that's, that's, uh, that's a lot of resistance. Uh, he's got enough manpower, though, so he should be okay. Right? Right. And also, we ran out of things to build here. I did take the Navajo and Reservation just because... I don't know what else was I supposed to take. This, this wasn't core uh, Legion territory, so I figured, you know what, we might as well take something out of it. Maybe it's not worth taking. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Ooh, actually. Yeah, Western Pacification is good. Um, the Tribal Scouts are also probably fine as well. Yeah, I don't know. I apologize once again, it's just like... And I got most use most infantry. So if I do this again, I'll probably just use infantry or conventional warfare doctrine, just because robots are impossible to get enough of. I mean, it's ridiculous. It's so bad, so bad. Now oh, we need so much basic weaponry now too. Oh boy, oh boy. And we did go to Diana's Warriors, which does kind of suck. Anything else around here? Uh, machine stuff, economic stuff, military stuff. Eh, nothing really interesting here. But it would get any benefit. I guess construction speed, because we can. Uh, oh, we didn't, oh, I did that one before I reloaded the save. We also did go to Military Academy Officers, so we get some really good guys here. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I kind of want to consult these guys, but at the same time, maybe not. Uh, so, Roma Goddess, Arizona Gaia. Oh, Nursery Radar Improvements, because we have Long Range Radio now, which would be very strong and nice to do. I do want to do Roma Diana. Did I do this one last time? Roma the Goddess. I might have. Protecting Colorado. Huh. Vengeance on the Wastes. Strength and defeat. Well, I wanted to do that one, but like we we lost, so we couldn't do sanctuary and paradise. We never got that one. And legions early end. It's probably because we had allied landing score. Maybe we're supposed to hold up before he dies. That might have been it. So I think we're this one as well. We want to keep our girls fed too. Please go right ahead. I think we're, I'll read it anyways. Girls training can be taught to the hundreds of the tribe to improve their effectiveness in all terrains and make sure they can provide surplus sustenance to the village. As training and under our supervision, they'll go into the forbidden land and report back to the, with their prey. For some reason, it's really laggy too, so. It's just my apologies, man. I wish we, this was different. Uh, yeah. Other than that, Lance is looking pretty good. I mean, he's really weak compared to the Legion. I and mean, it makes sense. You have Enta del Sol, Two Sons, Navajo, Reservation. I don't know. I think they need to rework Lanius again. But I think they, they might be. I have no idea. The devs don't talk to me. But the 80s looking pretty thick. I mean, they get lucky that Urbros didn't want to go to war with them. They didn't get anything out of this. I didn't, get any, I didn't get Paradise either, but whatever. Hangdogs do be looking pretty nice as well. Cypher Warband's looking pretty okay. Lone Star is still hanging out. And for the factions right now, not bad. Great Plains Federation is not bad too. And Daughter of Ekati, looking okay. Children of the Gate, Northern League. Um, 
Yeah, it's just a very weird one. And, of course, the NCR and the Western Brotherhood of Steel, which, oh, like I said, Oro Blues feels like it's in a very odd place right now. It doesn't really know exactly what's going to happen next to it, at least as far as I know. I mean, there's been updates or, you know, a slight roadmap, but it's been so long. So long since the last huge major update, so. Um, other than that, we're going to keep doing that one. We'll do Arizona Guys. We'll do Keeping Our Girls Fed and Moonlight Runs as well. Our human auxiliaries are to be able to support our robotic forces. They must know how to move swiftly and acquire the information. Organization training supervised by our tactical robo-brains will give them the experience needed to form an effective fighting force of our cause. An healthy tribe is a healthy, happy tribe. A tribe with no training equipped and securing the knowledge of their might as well as ability to defend their loved ones. With twin mothers now transferred into the Amazons of the Waste, its warriors have become happy and healthy. Able to feed and protect themselves. We can now set our sights further and concentrate on advanced equipment research. But let me know. Whenever you go down this route, are, is it easy for you to take, defeat you know, Kaiser and his legions? Is it not? Please let me know in the comments below just because I hate using cons commands for this type of stuff. But sometimes you got to do it. Especially when you literally don't have time anymore. Like I, I literally have like 10, 11, 12 hour workdays. So um, that's why sometimes I only can do one video a day. But I guess I'll end it here. It's going to be one of the very short, a very short video for me. But if you enjoyed the video regardless, Leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. Let's push forward and see what else we can do with the cult of Diana. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.